this is <laughs> oh I got that. This is kind of here for our Q and A. We are really excited. We wanted to say thank you for all your questions. There was lots and lots, and we really really appreciate it. Um, we've got heaps here, so we might not be able to get them all in the Q and A, but we'll try and fit in as many as possible. Now we're gonna start off with the questions that you guys asked, even though we said not to ask them. Um, but it's what you guys want to know, so we're gonna get it out of the way. So, um, yeah, to start off with, how old are you? I am 14. Yes, one four. I said this in the All About Kai video. One four. April 10, my birthday is. April, I'm 15 next year. Believe it. <laughs> Why are you so small? I come from a short family. Um, it's not that, not that, um, rare. Uncommon. <laughs> it's not that uncommon. And, yeah, we're just late developers. we late bloomers. And I'm just short. It's not that big a deal. Next question. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? No. N-O. Smells no. Smells no. That's great. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's all the common ones that we told you not to ask. But you asked anyway. Um, all right. Now we're going to go into, go the, into the next question. Is your voice always sound pitchy or do you just make it sound high? Okay, a lot of people have been asking this, so I'm going to answer. To start off with, pitchy is not high or squeaky. It just means that it's off the note that you're trying to hit. It can be sharp or flat or low or high from the note that you're trying to hit. Not, not necessarily high or squeaky. And at the moment, um, I am young. i am not gone through puberty yet, so my vocal range is up here. And I, I generally like it up here in the high. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock, guys. Um, so, yeah, and when and naturally when I when my voice changes, um, it's going to drop. And by training and practicing with the high, I want to keep it up here and try and keep the high range as much as possible. Being a singer, you want to keep the range as big as possible. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm training to try and keep that high because the low is going to come naturally. And that's why I'm doing it. Plus, I just sort of like it. And I can do it, so I do it. Why do you want to become a musician when you could be anything else? Okay, um, well, I just, I, I love lots of things, but this is the thing that I love the most. I love music, plus there's so many other things you can do in music. You can write songs, you can tinkle around on instruments, you can sing, dance, perform on stage, and what? <laughs> is it ding? Is it tinkle around? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you said tinkle around. <laughs> that sounds funny. Tinkle around on instruments. <laughs> She's crazy. Yeah, I just, I just love, love, love performing. <laughs> so that's what I, I love doing. So I'm gonna stick with it, and that's really why I wanna be a musician. Don't laugh. Tinkle around. <laughs> okay. Next question. Um. Do you plan on starring in any more Australian feature films or is it music where you want your career to be held? Well, I really, really want music to be my my career, um, maybe touring around the world. I would really love that. But if any other feature films or any other big acting things come up, I will certainly take it. I would really, really, really love to do it. I love that Peter Allen so much and I would really love to do it again if, a, if an opportunity comes up. What is your favourite type of sport? Definitely soccer or football, wherever you live. Um, I, I've been playing soccer or football for my whole life, and I really, really love soccer or football. And, um, yeah, I, and Amy's going to be a soccer slash football player as well, um, so I get to play with her, and it's really, really good. I love soccer mm -hmm. slash football. What is your favourite type of animal? Um, we had we had seven birds as pets and they were all really lovely so I love birds and also dogs as well everybody loves dogs um, so yeah birds and dogs Alberto Perez says why don't you cut that hair what do you mean a little bit like this no seriously I really don't care what I look like um, yeah I I don't really mind yeah, I don't necessarily brush my hair but I, I do cut my hair otherwise it would look like Amy's how much does it cost to make one of your brilliant videos? Why, oh, thank you. All right, um, it really, really ranges on the video. Uh, Thriller costs thousands of dollars to make because we had professional camera peeps and we had makeup and we had to pay for makeup and lighting and props. And so that one costs quite a bit. But See You Again, which we filmed just out, out in the front in front of a brick wall, 
Um, that cost zero dollars because I did everything myself except for the electricity we used to charge the battery uh, for the camera. <laughs> no, but it really ranges. But we, we have, if it's a dance video, we have choreography. I'm not doing the audio by myself anymore. So that's um, that costs as well. And we do usually do lighting. So it usually ranges from about 500 to 700 dollars. That's generally what it is. You know all this, why are you nodding? <laughs> okay. What is the coolest thing you've done? Oh. You know, there's so many different things. I love doing so many different things that I can't really choose. There'll be a few highlights. Um, probably skiing in Spain. Uh, we went skiing once and I cannot wait to do it again. That was so great in La, Mal La Malina. That was really, really great. I love that so much. Um... Maybe zip lining. We went zip lining once. That was really really fun. And we went to Hawaii and we went um, we swam underwater and we saw a megapod of dolphins. They were swimming past us. Uh, wild dolphins. There are thousands of them. Like it's pods like joined together to make a megapod. And that was really 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 cool. But like recent um, performing wise, Australia's Got Talent has been one of my favourite memories. It's really sparked the performing. And I've been going from there. And recently, I opened for Jesse J at the State Theatre, which was really, really fun. The atmosphere there was so, so great. And so, yeah, I, as I said, I really love doing anything. But there's a few things that I, I really, really love. What is your main hobby apart from singing, dancing, and playing the guitar? Oh, my favourite hobby or main hobby would, would probably be I really, really, really love reading. I read. 24-7, I, I, actually a punishment if I do something wrong is no reading and also no science. I really, really love science as well. Um, that would probably be my two things, but I also really love soccer. I'm doing that as a hobby now. And yeah, probably those three things are what I spend most of my time on other than that. And I really, really love all of them. Who is your favorite singer? Definitely Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson all the way. I really, really love him in the early days with the Jackson 5. Yeah, they're awesome in every way. They're and really great. And your favourite song? Uh, my favourite song at the moment is, well, there's two. The Love You Save by the Jackson 5. I really love that. All the me all the melodies and the, the layers, I really love that. But also Uptown Funk. Um, it's really sparked this YouTube stuff, and I just love the song in general. Best song. Best song. It's really great. Have you been somewhere in Asia? Not really, not really. We um, we went to we went to Europe for soccer, and on the way there we went to Hong Kong for a little bit. We went to Disneyland, um, and on the way back we went to Thailand for one day and one night. Um, just as like a pit stop, and we saw the markets. We went on the tuk tuks, that's right. But I don't, I sort of remember. I don't really remember it, but yeah, yes, yes. The final answer is yes, sort of. What was your last dream? So somebody died and everybody was crying. It was very sad. Somebody, yeah, somebody that I knew in the city, they were, yeah. And then every, I started crying and then and everybody else started crying and it was really sad. And then I woke up. Caroline Lee said, what are your long-term plans and how has your family been helping you achieve them? Um, well, I cannot thank my family enough. They are the best people in the world. Well, my long-term plan would be definitely to be a touring musician. I'd love to tour the world with my own concert. That would be brilliant. Um, we are going to America for eight weeks uh, in 24 days. I got it right. Um, 24 days. We're super excited. We are hoping to go over there, meet some people, do some recording, maybe some writing, and just and we're hoping to go over and live there as soon as possible. Mum is putting together a visa application with uh, two folders this thick of everything that I've done in my past career. And, <laughs> past career. Anyway, <laughs> um, I love my family. They are so great. They're doing everything to help me get my career forward and I love them so much. Thank you, you guys. Well, Amy's telling me to stop, stop. <laughs> Let's go to the next question. Justin Maxwell says, you're developing as a singer, but your dance seems to be coming from somewhere deeper, raw and magical. Is it important to get your vocals as good as your moves? Or is it okay that one of these might be a gift while the other is merely a skill to be honed? Um, 
Wow, thank you. Thank you, Justin. Um, yeah, well, I've been doing dancing for a lot longer, about three or four years longer. Um, so I think that is a little bit better. But I, I really would love to be a singer that can dance, not a dancer that can sing when I grow up. Um, and, yeah, I, I, singing is definitely a skill I could not sing when I started. Um, I just got the right teacher and worked hard. And so that is a skill that is being honed at the moment. Dancing, I'm not sure if that's a gift or I've just, I just love dancing and it comes really natural to me, the, the beat and the movement. Well, as you make me want to dance written about someone special and do you think about someone when you sing? Um, no, no, it wasn't written for anybody special and no, I don't think about anybody when I sing that song. Um, we came up with a melody and we had that idea of the title, You Make Money Dance, and we wrote the song around the title and, and then it turned into You Make Money Dance, but no, I don't think about anybody and it's not about anybody. You wanna...